Hello, and welcome to Beyond Curriculum, the professional development series for ASC tutors at College of the Siskiyous. Today, on the subject of independent learning, we'll explore Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy is a way to classify educational learning objectives. It was named after Benjamin Bloom, who in the 1950s chaired the Committee of Educators who devised the taxonomy. It starts with basic thought processes and works its way up. At the base of Bloom's taxonomy, we start with remembering material. At this point, we're not necessarily understanding it. We're simply remembering the details. But then we move up to understanding where we have a basic comprehension of the material. After understanding the material, we're able to apply it. And then we get to a point where we can actually analyze the material itself and analyze other things using the knowledge that we've gained. At a certain point, we can evaluate. And finally, at the top of the taxonomy, we have creating. And that is when you reach a point where you can use all of the knowledge that you've gained all the way up to create something new. Let's take a look at remembering. When we remember something, we can name things. For instance, we know names in our history book. Maybe we can remember who did what. And we can recall dates or places where things occurred. We might be able to quote things. We can quote Patrick Henry who said, give me liberty or give me death. And we may even be able to recite something, a part of a poem or a piece of the Gettysburg Address. So this is basically, we're just getting those details into our brain. Now, once those details are in there, we can reach a level of understanding. And when we understand material, we are able to explain it to another person. We can give examples of what it is. We're able to identify something. So if you have a multiple choice quiz, you'll be able to identify which one of those answers is the one that you're looking for. And you can paraphrase. When you have an understanding of something, you're going beyond just memorizing what your instructor said in their lecture. At a point of understanding, you can take those ideas, put them into your own words, and paraphrase. Then we reach a point where we can apply the information that we have learned. You can articulate what it is so you can talk about it. You can instruct someone. Let's suppose that we're in a science class and we're learning how to use microscopes. So you have memorized maybe different parts of the microscope and you have a basic understanding of how it works, but now it's time to apply that. So you can articulate what it is that you need to do with the microscope, which means that you're able to maybe instruct another student and tell them how to use a microscope. You're able to develop ideas about, hey, what can we do with this microscope? And then you can demonstrate how to use the microscope. So that's how you apply information that you've learned. When you reach a point where you can analyze things, you're able to differentiate between things. You can tell that not everything is the same, which means that you can compare and contrast. So you're able to look at what is the same about certain things and what is different about them. You're able to examine, so you're able to look at things much more closely. And you can classify things. You can identify which things go with which other things, which concepts belong together. So 
that is analyzing and evaluating is a point at which you can form an argument. So when you get to a point where you can form a hypothesis about something or a thesis statement about something, you can then defend that argument. You're able to make conclusions about things based on the information that you have. And you're able to then make predictions about what may occur in the future. When you get to a point where you can create, you can use all of the other knowledge that you've gained on your way up the ladder of Bloom's taxonomy, and you can create something completely new. You're able to formulate ideas about something. You're able to construct not just ideas, not just, for instance, a paper, but you might actually physically construct something. You might be in a physics class, and at this point in the class, you're using all of the information you've learned in that class to be able to make a working model of something. You're able to design that model. You'll know, you'll have an understanding of what would make it work. And you can actually invent something. So getting to a point where you can start creating things is a very cool place to be. So let's take a look one more time at the levels of Bloom Taxonomy. There's remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. And a really great thing to do with your two T's is to tell them a little bit about Bloom's taxonomy and ask them what level of learning they feel they're at with their coursework. So when you're having a tutoring session with someone, you can say to them, where do you feel you're at on this taxonomy? Are you just at a point where you're remembering things? And then in a couple of sessions, you can say to them, are you understanding at this point? Are you able to apply those concepts? So you can really help to get those wheels turning by using Bloom's Taxonomy. Thank you for being a part of the Academic Success Center team at College of the Siskiyous, and thank you for watching.